Hello everyone, this is Michael, also known as Laser Sniper, and we are here to play Pokemon Uranium. Well, I'm here. You're here to watch, of course. <sighs> I cannot wait to get into this game. Just for the fact that it's a brand new Pokemon game, my hype is getting a little bit up for Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon. And this is a completely fan-made game, if you're not familiar, that's been being worked on for two years with a lot of new Pokemon, new mechanics, new Pokemon type, and this is... This is gonna be something to kind of sate my appetite while I wait for Pokemon Sun and Moon. And something cool to do for the channel, considering that I really... The last Pokemon project I did, I never really was able to get, get back to Pokemon Emerald, because I lost the save file. And... Yeah! It'd be really boring to try to get back to that point in the game, so I decided, you know what, let's just go through this. It looks fun, it looks exciting, and let us continue. New game. <gasps> this has an integrated Nuzlocke mode? Ooh. No, I want to experience the game regularly first. We will... Depends how much I like the game, but I have a feeling I'll be coming back for a, for this dedicated Nuzlocke mode. That seems fun. That seems exciting. Let us go. Are you sure you want to play this game mode? Um, I, I picked normal, right? Yeah, I picked regular. I wonder why it's double checking. Huh? Who's it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh, Bambo? You don't look like a professor in the slightest. Ooh, let me turn down the... Turn down the music just a slightly... A little bit loud. Err, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you could just call me the Pokemon Professor. No, I don't... You don't look like a professor, dude. Having a clipboard does not make you look like a professor. And what's up with your hand? You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Want a lowdown on what you'll be doing? Um... I looked at the... Uh, controls and everything, but... What's adventure? I'll have you journey across the region, collecting specimens for my research. Along the way, you're still sure to encounter all t kinds of... Sorry. <clears throat> That's, this is not this guy's voice. Along the way, you're to encounter all kinds of Pokemon and people. Some will be willing to cooperate, some not, but you should try and be friendly with everyone. We don't want to have a re bad reputation, right? People will ask for your help solving mysteries or lending them a hand when they're down. And it won't be easy. There's dangers everywhere. Whether it be wild creatures or Pokemon with ill intent, people with ill intent, you'll need to be on your guard. But keep a clear head on your shoulders, kid, and I'm sure you'll pull through just fine. Okay, so it sounds like we're being recruited for, um, basic, being a basic do-good adventurer for a D&D &D campaign. Um, okay, whatever. Oh. <gasps> That does not like a bird, look like the bird Pokemon that I'm used to. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers, such as yourself. This guy looks a little too slinky and shady. For my tastes. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Element? Types, you mean? Every Pokemon has an elemental type. Okay. And each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But, why do they exist? And there are new types we haven't discovered yet. Oh, are there new types? Ah, but I'll tell you more of that on your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you just fill this form out here. Who are you? Uh, okay, so 
Are we boy, gender neutral, or girl? Um... I'll be honest, normally when games like this, I flip to see who I would choose. But honestly, I like the gender neutral guy or girl. Like, this guy just looks a little bit dorky, and the girl looks a little bit too... I don't know. Girly's not the right word. Motherly. That's the word. With the dress and the fanny pack and the hat. That looks way too mother. I don't know. I like this guy with with the ponytail or the sort of ponytail crop top top thingy. Sure. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. That's me. I'd like to know your name. Uh, let's just go with laser. Um, let's go with my roleplay name. There we go. Blends a little bit better into the world. Lazarin. Your name is Lazarin? Yeah, yes it is. Lazarin, are you ready? I am ready. Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You'll t okay, blah, 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 blah. Challenges, thrills, you're bound to make... Yeah, I get it. Let's go. Exactly what I wanted to do. Ten years ago, Lazarin's family moved to Beale Beach City. Okay. The largest city in Tandor. Okay, that's different. Not a small town. Why do I have um? Oh, that's my father. Kaylin was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. <gasps> a Pokemon Ranger? Cool. I love those games. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist on the expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with you, with young Lazarin. Until one day, <laughs> I'm expecting that any time now, uh, the Tando region was at peace and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until, oh, 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 I knew it. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked and as part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Uh, the guy with funky hair is a specialist, right? Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have, and everything seems to be working perfectly. This genera generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. Is ever if everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. And we're going, uh, boss, you might want to look, take a look at this. Does <laughs> it literally says yes and no on that screen? Strange, the temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or we're all going to explode. The reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer, I just checked that. So... Oh no, explosions! There must be a breach of the reactor! At this temperature, in, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Okay, we'll just sit here then. Wait for that meltdown. Then that, now let's continue. Everyone needs to evacuate now. Lucille needs to stay behind, though. Lucille, we have to leave too. You have to leave too. Lucille, and you're not going to help, are you? Ooh, green flash of explosion. With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed. <gasps> Except Lucille. Oh, yep. She was never. Seen again after that day. <laughs> Mumsy, no! <laughs> the radiation leaked, <laughs> leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Body, actually. The loss of his wife had profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he promote, got promoted to the chief of the Tandem Pokemon Ra Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. Original plot here, boys. So young Lazarin was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Okay, this is where we go have a start. Honestly, this is more of a plot than anything else. Ten years passed. Well, I hope so, because it said ten years earlier. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. So she sent us out into the cold. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, 
Bambo? I'm going to say Bambo. Ernest. Uh, let's just say Ernest. Ernest or Bambo? I don't know. Probably just Bam. The local Pokemon professor was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Lazarin and their childhood friend Theo. Ooh, I like Theo. That's a good name. I have a friend named Theo. I should really check up on him. He moved away a while ago. Well, I wonder how I'll be able to get in contact with him again. It'd be fun to talk to him. It was common for use of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. At 10 years old, officially by canon. And so Lazarin's journey began. A full-time job at 10. Mm, this is supposed to be my auntie. Um, flip of the dot. A and... Lazarin, come downstairs, you're late! <sighs> Uh, okay, this is definitely more girl than I was expecting, but, um, oh, can I, can I run yet? Oop, that's my bag. Um, bag, option, save, Lazarin. Let's take a look at, oops. Ah, uh, I guess it's a little more girl, but I don't care. I think it still looks cool. Um, Z is running shoes. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. So, like, I can put that on my hotkey to activate for Z, I guess? Empty, 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 empty. I love these little, these, wait, what? Items, medicine, Pokeballs, TM, berries, mail, and battle items don't have slots. And key items do, but everything else does. I like this little animation stuff. But now I should be able to run. Oh, I'm in a house, of course. Okay. Uh, interaction? What kind of books do we have? But about Pokemon. Me and my Otuin Gerbolto's Big Adventure, a quest for the legends. I've read all these many times. I don't think I would have done that. A Nintendo Wii U, but they're coming out with a new system soon. Hopefully it's good. Apparently they're building a new nuclear power plant in Tandor. <gasps> Flashback. Yeah. Okay, time to go. Yep, that's enough for that. Uh, and what do we have in here? Ah, the PC sound. Item storage. Withdraw. Anything good in here? One potion. Thank you. Um, oops. No, I don't have any items. Exit. Mailbox. No new mail. Turn off. I wonder how the mailbox system is supposed to work, considering this doesn't have a... I never understood mailbox, the system. Map of West Tendor. Ooh, wait, West Tandor? So that means there's an East Tandor. Let's take a look here. We have Comet Cave. Get a little sneak. Oh, I have no clue what that is. Apparently this is a green dot on the map for no reason. Amatry Town. I am going to guess this is going to be a big tree or treehouse city. Barola Town. Poke Zero Mon School. I, I'm going to assume that's going to be a glitch. Um, uh, Professor Cypress's lab in Rock Fail Town. What's over here? Lakeside Path. Kevlar Town. Military Town, I'm gonna assume. Passage Cave. No Talk City. Um, can, can I move around with... No, no, I can't. Okay, it has to be with the keyboard. That's gonna be a little bit... I, I'll get used to it. Legan Town? Tinker's Workshop. Okay, there's going to be a lot of lore there. Call them that there. Uh, championship Site. That's going to be our Pokemon League. But, like, a lot of lore here. Because uh, that's going to be... It's going to be Legend Town. Like, there's going to be just info dump. Vinoville City. Um, what is it? A church. Okay. We don't know what the purple dot is, but it's on our map. Don't know what that green dot is. Don't know what that purple dot is. Beale Beach City, department store and casino. Ah, the stereotypical big city in the Pokemon games. Can't wait to get there to gamble my money away. Antique China. Ooh, what's this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Home is where the heart is, and there's a heart. Aw. What's over here? Hey, I don't believe it. Auntie actually has a bed. I don't weirdly just 
we don't weirdly sleep together in this game. Scandalous, it's anti sock drawer. Wow. Uh, Pokemon Life, Pokemon Evolution, Philosophy of Pokemon. Guilty pleasure reading. The Arcanian Prince, a fairy, fairy mo. Okay, yep, let's not, let's, just, let's just not look how far she's gotten into that one. Or how. Oh, this is China. Again. <gasps> anti tea! Let's drink some. A cup of Joe is on the table. It's cold. Ugh. <gasps> Lazarin, sweetie, today's your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. And you and that boy, Theo, always following in your footsteps. That one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He's a younger, he is younger after all. I'm sure his father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Oh, Cameron. Hmm. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I bought you a present. Go ahead, open it. <gasps> Running shoes! Okay, cool, sweet. Sniffle, oh. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. It's just, I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he'd be proud of you, too. I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? Ooh -hoo -hoo. And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Okay, sweet. Now I can run. Can I run indoors? <gasps> I can run indoors. And it's a... It is literally a toggle. Wait, oops! I think I I think I glitched it. Oh, I see. Okay, so I can I can toggle it in my thing, so I can hold Z right now just to run, or I can go in here and toggle this. So now I'm always running unless I hold Z. Eh, let's go with that. Can we change the? Uh, nope, nope, just... I'm gonna leave that off just because I'm not used to playing like that. Oh, it's it's nighttime. Um, oh, I'm silly. Of course it's nighttime. This is linked to my computer clock. Ooh. That is interesting. Uh, sound effects just pick up right when I get next to the... Now, this is cool. Nothing I can do here. The aesthetic is really interesting thus far. And hello. Oh, Lazarin, you're leaving home, right? Ah, here, I have this. It'll help you on your journey. Don't eat it yourself. Oh, rank handy. Oh, sweet. Now, following traditional stereotypes, this should be Cameron's house. Hmm. Let's just look on this computer. Nope, can't. What's this old man saying? So oh, you're ready to finally head out on an adventure, eh? You take after your old man that way. Chin Chin! I'm, I'm just gonna imagine you're old too. My husband's long been an admirer of your father, you know. Oh, thank you for letting me know, old woman. Uh, this house doesn't have a door. Whatever. What about you, old man? So you're going ahead to be a big bread. You're going to be a big bread ringer now, eh, Lazarin? You should pop by a visit to your auntie now and again. Oh! <laughs> hmm. Let's um. Let's explore the rest of the town. What else do we have? So jealous you get to get my own Pokemon. You have to wait till you're older. Yep. Based on your age, you probably have to wait two more years, buddy, and then you get your Pokemon. Hey, 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 come back here. Come back. I'm, I'm going to catch you. Chin uh, Chin. Okay. What do you have to do? Technology is incredible. I can now trade with my Pokemon with my friends across the world with the power of the internet. Amazing. What do you have to say, Fisher Dude? Professor Brambo has a lab in the house on the cliff. 
I wonder why he lives in Moki Town of all places. Oh, for some mysterious reason, of course. I think I'll like a birdie. A burby? It's a flying type Pokemon, so it's strong against bugs. My favorite Pokemon is Chubbug. It's so cute. What do you have to say, motherly woman? My daughter's now a trainer. Do you know? She's training her Chinmunk in Route 01. Say hi to her if you see her. Nothing? Okay. New video game. But now I won't put it down even for a second. Why would you be playing video games in a world of Pokemon? It's called Pokemon Red version. You're playing a life simulator, kid. Seriously, there's Pokemon right out the freaking door. Go out and explore it. You can't just be... <sighs> okay. Whatever. Ooh, actually, I'm, I'm curious what kind of books they have. They, they have no books, apparently. Wait a minute. It's dangerous to go out with a Pokemon. Without a Pokemon. Wait a minute. This is the... This is the... The route out of town? But I thought... Oh, that's right. The the ways out of town are, are east and west. Whoa, I'm, I'm getting a little chuggage here. That, that's interesting. I wonder what's causing that. Shouldn't grow up so fast. Not long ago, it seemed like I was one myself. Be sure to have fun on your journey. This house looks bigger than usual. <gasps> Cameron's house! I don't know what to... How to give what voice. But he's going to be important, so he deserves a voice. So... Hey, Lazarin! Today's... No, that's not his voice. Hey, Lazarin! No, he's older. I don't know. I'll just, he'll just be my voice for now. Hey, Lazarin, today's the day that you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be too. Ah, I remember that day all those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you until I blew up your mother. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember like what it was like. It was an auspicious day indeed. If you're looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in the north of town. He's... Not very patient, so you should probably hurry and join him. Okay. Calling it right now. He did something to cause the explosion. Story type on the computer. The most awesome Pokemon trainer in the world. By Theo, age 11. Theo. Theo. Jeez, getting a late start, little buddy. <laughs> Just... <laughs> How old am I, honestly? Because if I'm older than Theo, then I got a really late start in Pokemon... Uh, uh, oh, how young is this kid? The best, most awesome Pokemon. Oh, hold on. This is in caps. The best, most awesome. Um, I can't yell right now. The best, most awesome Pokemon trainer was the champion of Kanto, Johto, and Tandoi. He never lost one single time. His Pokemon were strong and powerful. They were so tough that they got a new evolution called Super Mega Evolve. <laughs> Everyone thought he was cool, including his best friend Lazarin. That trainer's name was... Theo! <laughs> Theo has a voice. Wearing clothes and talking like humans. Okay, time to go. Bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, Theo, you precious child. Who's this dude? Hello, dude. Mm, found an Arnator of the region, but there's someone can be found in other regions like Mankey and Dunsparce. I don't know that one. I'm gonna see if it's just reading signs and it's laggy. Nope. Nope, it's just that sign down there, apparently. Ooh, Pokemon. I don't know what the that this one is. Burp, burp, burp. Ooh, what? Hey, wait up! Oh, hey, wait up! Holy crud, this looks like a mini Cameron. Where do you think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? How did I beat you here? So you can catch the better Pokemon? Get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I've got the strongest one. The first. To get the game, get, get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Lazarin. 
Jeez, Theo. How did- you're so slow. Ooh. 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 All the starters right here. I actually haven't given any thought to which one I'm going to choose. Like, oh, I like the grass one. Oh, you guys don't know what they look like, actually. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll flip a picture on screen if they don't, I, I'm not able to see it. Hey, Bambo. Hey, if it isn't Lazarin and your, uh, friend. Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today's a very special day for both of you. It's your first day on work as the fi It's your first day at work as field research assistants at the Bambo Research <laughs> Pokemon Research Labs. I got a very long title that cannot be closed into an acronym. Your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you in your journey. Before you get started, though, we'll, you both will take Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Test? I didn't study for any test. I thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't you worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you'll be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling strat styles. A starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get enough talking. I want to get to my Pokemon. She's kid, you're not very patient, are you? All right. If you want to know more about what's on the test before we begin, you can talk to my aide. Now, Lazarin, are you ready to take the trainer aptitude test? I don't need to talk to an aide. Yeah, let's, let's just hop right in. Excellent. So without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokemon in the wild, what is your f first reaction? Um, a new Pokemon in the wild? It... <laughs> I'm actually kind of, <laughs> actually kind of surprised that um. Wait a minute. Hmm. So, am I not going to be able to pick the Pokemon? Is it? Is this going to just do Pokemon Dungeon me and give me a starter Pokemon based on my answers? I'm going to assume these colors are to tell me which, like, Pokemon I'm going to choose. I am going to answer honestly and let the game decide if that's the case. I'm going to throw a Pokeball at it, because I like collecting new Pokemon. There we go, both of you. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Which of these TMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Ooh. Hidden power, okay. Protect is useful, but... Seriously, Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam. Oh, Professor, what's a TM anyway? Uh, I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win an all win in an all-out battle? Um. Okay, so. Oh, hold on a second. Gyarados, Glissazor, and Amphros. Hold on a second. I thought for a second these were the starter Pokemon. Um, I actually have to look this up. Glissazor sounds familiar. I think he's the he's the bat Pokemon. Um, no, no, he's. I don't think he is. I'll throw these up. He is the new bat Pokemon. He was the one from um like. I think he was from Ruby and Sapphire. Um, Amphros was the giraffe poke. I'm popping these on screen too. If I remember. I hope I remember. I should remember. Amphros was the um, giraffe electric Pokemon. Yep. He was the giraffe electric Pokemon. Oh, man, I... I'm sorry, but I'm an old school. The Gyarados would totally whoop butt in an all-out battle. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now you're fine the question. Though I think you're failing. 
Like, it's not possible to normally fail this test, but uh, seriously. Seriously, what's your name? Tommy, was it? Yeah, Tommy, you're failing pretty bad. So I answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best, exploring the region, making new friends. Exploring would be cool. Making new friends. Yeah. Becoming the very best. Like no one ever was. That's me. The very best out there. I am going to grind everyone into the ground with my team. Though honestly. 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 I, I like Pokemon just to play and collect and everything. But like. Out of the options I have, that that isn't one. Exploring the region, no. Making new friends, no. Out of these three, it's it's to be the best one. To be, become the best. No question about it, I'm gonna be a Pokemon master. Ain't nobody gonna stand in my way. <laughs> I dig your spirit, kid. Well, that's it for the trainer aptitude test. Now it's time to analyze your results, and I got the fire one, I'm gonna bet. I finished my analysis by chicken text in my head. Whom, whom, whom. Lazarin, you should be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. They're saying the best defense is a good offense is probably your mature. You have a burning spirit with that you'll never cease. For an offensive trainer like you, Raptorch is the best pick. I thought so. I kind of wanted to go for the electric, the electric water or the steel um, grass. <sighs> well, we'll just we'll leave that for the Nuzlocke challenge, honestly. But I said I'll go with whatever it is. Like it's a fire Pokemon. It's fire rock. Raptorch. Rapti. I'm not going to be very original, guys. Not at all. I have a very Pokemon naming convention. Hey, I'm tired of waiting! Lazarin got their starter already. When do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Hmm. We don't, we don't really need this. Theo? Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive, impatient, and certainly mo mostly about your own desires. But I sense something else in you. Could it be the sense of greatness? The potential to transform yourself? Completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, I'm going to give you the water steel poke or the water electric Pokemon so you can counter me. Oh, wait, what? Orknix? Wait a minute. Don't I counter him? Yeah, my first Pokemon! Jeez. Buddy. Laser, you have a Pokemon and now I have a Pokemon too. You know what that means, right? We have to battle! Oh, please, not in the lab. Sorry, Professor. Wow. He is young. Go Rafty! I kind of wanted that one, or I didn't. I went. Ooh. Well, he looks all right. Fight, scratch, growl, ember. Seriously, this it seems weird because what happened to my health bar? I don't see it. I should just annihilate. Whoa! Yeah, see? Oh, the health bar is the big green bar. And that's going to be XP on the bottom. Okay. Why in the... This is strange. I don't know why I got the, you know, opposite. Um, why he didn't pick counter of me. Yeah, I defeated my rival. What? But I was supposed to win. I got $350. But... But how? I was supposed to be the b best trainer ever. That's 
Impossible. No, that's impossible. Good trainers never lose. <laughs> Please don't cry, Theo. I just had the floor mopped and all clean. It's, it's all better. Here, I'll heal your Pokemon for you. Just, just stop the tears. And the sniffling. Oh, the boogers. The boogers. They're everywhere. No, stop. Theo, just please. Plug your nose with this. I, I wanted to be an uh, unbeatable trainer. Well, too bad. I just beat you. How come I couldn't win? I really, really wanted to win. Well, between your starters and Lazarin's, theirs has a type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. These also have subtypes of fire ground, water s electric, and grass steel, which is interesting. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We'd be getting into the, the type interdimensional links if we were trying to get into everybody else. Learning to master type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way, I want a do-over. How come Lazarus gets the better starter? <laughs> what? what? It's, it's, it isn't fair. Jeez, Theo, please. Uh, I'm going home. Jeez, this is... Ah, you took that harder than I hoped. Kinda. But you shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He's just a kid after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I'm going out to the entrance to Route 101 by the edge of town. Bring Theo, and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Lazarin. Let's just grab this other Pokemon, shall we? Just a chat? No, no, okay. Well, um, geez, this, this rival is... A new kind of, oh, I thought he just said he was researching the Pokemon potion. Like, seriously? This is still west? Oh, I was hoping it'd be east. What's this? A clean lab is a healthy lab? Protect your Pokemon, use potions. Pokedex, you want to stop source for Pokemon info. Oh, okay. Uh, honestly, I, um. Wait a minute. He still has them out there. He has more? Wow. That's actually kind of surprising. Honestly, this kid's more... Let's go uh, visit Auntie first. This kid's a little bit more annoying than... Um, than other rivals, in my opinion. Oh, honey, you came back to say goodbye? How sweet! Is that your Pokemon? What's this called? No, it's called Rapti. No, Grandma, it's or Auntie, it's Rapti. It's so cute. Come back when you need to rest, or if you just want to humor your old aunt. If, you know, before I die, I have cookies or biscuits. I mean, either one is fantastic, whether you're British or American. Okay, where's the kid? Oh, yeah, bigger house. The music's kind of cool. It's very Pokemon... Why do I lag every time I come over here? Whoa, I think it's the rocks. Wow, yeah, those rocks caused the game to lag. Well, Cameron. What, what did you do to my son? He ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's the wrong or come downstairs. I swear if you did anything... Oh! Oh! Please, we're gonna come out later. We're gonna come out later with the scandal that you purposely sabotaged the nuclear power plant and you caused all destruction in this, in Condor or whatever, and you killed my mother, so don't you even give me that talk. I know you're guilty of something. I didn't do anything, actually, to your son. You're, he's a crybaby. Yeah, see? Oh. So that's how it is. So he got the weaker starter and you beat him in a battle. Hmm, I see. That explains it. Our slush to be sure, but losing is much part of being a trainer is winning. Thank you for being reasonable. Your kid's crazy. He had his heart set on the day being perfect, so losing right off the bat is somewhat, off, is somewhat of a shock. Still crying won't solve anything. There's something he has to learn. Theo! 
Come downstairs right now, young man! Thea, you can't cry every time you lose a battle. Even though you lose like 350 bucks every time. That's just part of being a trainer. But what it isn't fair. Lasher got the better starter in me. Now I'm never gonna win. Then you'll have to catch more Pokemon to balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, a well-raised Pokemon can still win even at a disadvantage. There's no sense in giving up before you even begin. Yes, Dad. Now, Theo, I won't always be around to pick up when you're feeling down. So try and be strong for yourself, okay? Lastron, please be patient with my son. Uh, no. I'm gonna grind his... <laughs> I'm just gonna knock him down every time he picks himself up. I guess that will be patient. I gotta wait for him to pick himself back up, so... Okay. He looks up to you, you know. Oh, I nearly forgot. Lazarin, Theo and I have something both for you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Lazarin, your father, Kellen, sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you began your journeys. I'm sure it'll become in useful. Pokepod! What's a Pokepod? Uh, what's that? I mean, that's what Theo po Theo's asking, not me. I know what a Pokepod is. It's a high-tech device that... Whoa, my voice. It's a high-tech device that's indispensable for trainers. Uh, it plays music and includes a map of the... Oh, it's a poker radio. Map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool! <laughs> I got the red one. It's cooler than yours. Oh, come on. Green is so much better. Blue's on a better spectrum than red. I'm gonna meet the Pokemon professor at the edge of town. I'll be the first one to catch a Pokemon. Bye, Dad. Keep up, Lazarin. <clears throat> Ooh, my voice. Well, talk about your dramatic turnaround. He always bounces back quickly. Lazarin, don't, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get him moving too. I won't see you or Theo again for some time. Because I'm fleeing the country. Because I have fearing that your journey will veer truths about your mother. Bye! You see, I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant Epsilon. <gasps> you killed my mother for her job. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, it's the last place Lucille was ever scene. Why would you bring that up? Best of luck on your journey. Dude! Dude, I don't even care if you killed my mother on purpose to take her job or whatever. That was just stupid and harsh. Like, keep my... Keep you off my trail, or keep me off your trail by trying something. Jeez. Let's get away from those rocks. Those are very laggy rocks. Cool, we're here. Hey, Lazarin. Now that you and Theo are here, it's time to begin your first lesson as a Pokemon trainer and a feed research station. Now watch closely. Wow, Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. I know how to catch them. Water, cave, city. Whoa, is that cities? Tallgrass is going to be your best friend finding new Pokemon. Simply take a few steps and... <gasps> it's a wild chin monk. Look, it's very common around here. It hasn't noticed me yet, so now's my chance to jump on it and beat the ever living crud out of it. Go, Electex! I wonder if his Pokemon changes based on our choices. This little guy was the other starter your Pokemon could have received. I think he's taking the shine to me, and I rather like him too, so I'm gonna keep him. Oh, he's your Pokemon, dude! Of course you're gonna keep him! Now, the next step is to weaken the po enemy Pokemon and make it. I, I know this, I'm gonna skip. Blah, blah, blah. Pokeball go. Sweet. That's how it's done. Uh, inflict status effects. Use Pokeball. Ah, uh, but... You know, the one thing the actual Pokemon game did well is that they showed you how to use the in-game menu. That's the purpose of this. Oh, cool. Pokedex. Uh, encyclopedia updates and encounter new Pokemon. Important for my research to make sure to fill it out as possible. Also have one of these. What's this? Pokeballs. Five, right? Catching Pokemon, blah, blah, blah. Gotta catch them all. Wow. Okay. Yes. 
If you run out, you can always pick some more of the Pokemon. Moki doesn't have one of those, but there's one in Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 01. So with that said, your lesson is now over. Oh, but you two have Pokepods, don't you? Here, let me input my number. Ooh, a little presumptuous, buddy. Blah, blah, blah. Look how many collecting. Special rewards for you. Ooh, cool. I love the reward system introduced in um, Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green. Based on how many Pokemon you collect. With that said, I'm going back to my lab. Best of luck, both of you. And then huh, Theo is going to say something annoying. Mazen, I don't care that you got the stronger starter. I'm still going to be the best trainer ever. I'll catch a ton of those Pokemon. We'll win every battle. You just wait and see. Okay.